So consider the following sketch of the sun. This is the sun and the earth. This is the earth and also the moon, which is this one. This is the moon. So the mass of the moon is 7,38 times 10 to the index 22 kg. So if you check, we are also given the distance between the sun and also the moon. We are given that distance. This is the distance. And we are also given the distance between the moon and the earth. So this is the distance. So we are given. So now the first question says, state Newton's universal law of gravitational in words. So Newton's un universal law of gravitational state that every body in the universe attract every other body with the force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their center or between their center so now that's uh what it says uh, this newton universal law of gravitational in words so question 3.2 says calculate the magnitude of the gravitational force that the earth exert on the sun at the position indicated on the diagram so if you check we have the sun here this is the sun right and we also have the earth here right this is the s so in order to calculate the force this formula is given it's normally given at the back of the of your calculator you'll find it force is equal to g where g is the the constant and we have mass one and also mass two all this will be divided by the distance squared between the two masses right so this formula normally is given at the back of your calculator and uh, at the back of your, the question paper it's normally given even these constants are provided in most cases so now this is the distance between the two masses in other words in order to calculate the force we must know the mass of the sun so this will be the sun or the mass of the sun and then this one will be the mass of the earth so this area will be the distance between the earth and the sun and then this one is constant right so now if you check we are not given the distance between the two but we can apply pythagoras theorem to find the distance between the two because if you check we have this distance here we also have this distance here so we can apply pythagoras theorem to find this distance here and if you check pythagoras theorem x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to radius squared so if you check we have something of this nature it's equal to radius squared so this time around this distance can be our x and then this one can be our, our y and then the one we are looking for can be the radius so let let's calculate it let me write it nicely so let's have x squared plus y squared squares to r squared right so this simply implies that r will be equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared so let's check if you check well let this be the x and then this one be the y and then you can solve for r right in other words in the position of x we are going to write 3 times 10 to the index or to the power 11 instead of y we are going to write this y we are going to write 4 times 10 to the index 8 or to the power 8 so let's do it so it's r scores to the square root of 
instead of x we are going to write 3 times 10 to the index 11 we close the brackets plus squared plus but hey, this square root of myself is small let me increase the square root yeah it should, it should be like that yeah and then plus instead of y we are going to write open brackets 4 times 10 to the index 8 close brackets squared yeah like this so after pressing a calculator the answer will be 3,000000 times 10 to the index or to the power 11 meter right so now we have the distance right we have the distance we want so yeah so this is the distance 3 times 10 to the index 11 right so in other words we we are going to search for these values now right we are going to search for the, actually the mass of the sun we have it is this one here the mass of the s we are going to use the 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 the, the table that is given at the back of the question paper we hope that we will find the mass of the earth right and even this uh, constant so the value of r we find it already is this one right yeah so let's firstly go and look for this the value of g and also the value of m2 let's go and look for it so i'm back with it quickly i'm back with it this is it mass of the s is given is 5,98 times 10 to the power 24 kg right this is the mass of the s that we are looking for and even the value of g the universal gravitational constant is given it's 6,67 times 10 to the power negative 11 right so it's given so this table are useful when answering question of this nature so without any waste of time let's go and substitute and solve the the problem so already we have force equal to g gravitational universal constant m1 multiplied by m2 of r squared so this is also equal to firstly we know the constant the denoted by the letter g here is 6,67 times 10 to the power negative 11 we just copied it you saw it on the table that i have just shown you and then multiplied by m1 m1 is the mass of the sun is 10 it's 1,99 times 10 to the power 80 multiplied by the mass of the s we saw it on the table it's 5 comma 98 times 10 to the power 24 all this will be divided by the distance between the sun and the s squared like this so from there we can press a calculator and find the answer to be 8 comma 8 2 times 10 to the power 21 newton so that's the answer Question 3.3 says calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the moon if the radius of the moon is 1,6 times 10 to the index 6 or to the power 6 meter. So this is simple and straightforward. Uh, G will be equal to the universal uh, gravitational constant multiplied by m over distance squared. So this g is constant we know it we saw it in the previous question it's 6,67 times 10 to the power negative 11 and then the mass now uh, is the mass of the moon we are given in the equation this is the mass of the moon we are given here so it's going to be 7,35 times 10 to the power 22 and then divide by uh, the distance now the distance will be or uh, the radius will be 1 comma 6 times 10 to the power 6 and then let's put brackets so that we can square it will be like this so after pressing a calculator we found that the answer is equals to 1 comma 9 to uh, meter per second squared.
so thank you for watching the video uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel